In this little tutorial we will add a mouse controller and detect the enemy. And remember that you can always download the source code from my GitHub page and details are on the descriptions. I prepared here three states for the mouse. For default, for danger and safety. So let's go and make the mouse scene. Our mouse will be auto-loaded, so let's create. Auto-load folder. Mouse scene. It will be a simple 2D scene. Change the name. And add a sprite. Let's do nice framing. Reposition. And change the name to the sprite. Now let's do a simple animation for the mouse. Let's add an animation player, new animation, default, danger, safety. Let's connect the frame to the animation. In my case will be 0 for the default, danger will be 1 and safety will be second. And now we have the basic of animation. Let's add a script for mouse and start coding. The next thing that we need to do is to set the global position of this sprite of this scene to get viewport, get mouse position, and also add this add this scene as a auto loads. Add and let's test it. Ta -ta -ta -ta. And now we have the situation when the sprite is going where the mouse is going. And when you go to the remote, you can see that here we have the level 1 and mouse 1 is independent of this current scene. If you want to know more about it, visit my video how to make the music controller in Gadoo 3. But we don't want the situation when we see the mouse cursor, so let's hide it. And now, after the update of the script, we have the function input set mouse mode, input mouse mode hidden, and with this line we have the hidden cursor. And later we can go with the default animation and the end result will be perfect. I also added the play danger, play safely and reset function to easily turn them on from the script. For the example, if you go to the level 1, go to the script and in the function, in the ready function, ready, go to the mouse that play danger, it will be red. But let's delete this for now because it's not what we want. So now let's add a basic enemy scene and detect it characters, new scene, enemy, root node as a kinematic body 2D, add sprite, set up the sprite, change location, add collision shape for the detection area, add shape, it will be rectangle shape 2D, Change sizes, change name of the scene, and also for the sprite, because when you are drag and draw the PNG file format, it will be named as this file. Add a script, it could be an enemy. And the last thing that we need to do is to add a scene else for the mouse entered and mouse excited for this scene. So there will be working like we have here the mouse, we are going to this collision shape, we are changing the state of the mouse and we are excited. Okay, let's go. Let's double click mouse entered, connect to the script, let's do the same for the mouse excited. And one more thing that these functions will be only work 
when the input pickable is true. So let's go to the name enemy, go to inspector and pickable must be turned on. In the script, let's use the mouse play danger for the mouse entered. And here let's just reset the mouse. Let's go to the level one. Add uh, enemy scene to our level and test it. Ha! And everything is working pretty fine. Last thing that we need to go to the mouse. Mouse scene, go to, go to the sprite, go to Z index and just increase it. For mouse it can be 10 or just a high value. And now everything is working fine. That tutorial was short. Let me know if you like it. Like it if you like it. Dislike if you dislike it. And have a nice day. Bye.